don't hate me please getting dumb tattoos for the rest of my life yeah, that stick and poke was a bit of a letdown <laughs> this is a well thought out tattoo 95 percent sure my grandma would have killed me hello my lovelies welcome back to my youtube channel and if you're new here then welcome my name is becky i'm a fashion and lifestyle blogger and i post here on youtube like once or twice a week maybe more maybe less uh, it depends how lazy i'm being with editing basically i'm done lying to you and promising videos on certain days that never come it's gonna come when it comes this um take it or leave it but at the moment i'm trying really really hard to make more and more videos i feel like i have a big list of ideas that i just never really get around to so I'm trying even harder to make sure that they actually come to fruition and make sure that they actually make it to YouTube recently. So videos should be a little bit more consistent, a little bit more frequent now. Also, I just want to note that this light, if you're unsure on it, same. So I bought a little LED light thingy, which is behind the camera right now. If I turn that off, this is the light that I have. Um, it's not great it's not great is it it's just it's just weird so i'm trying out filming with this i feel like it's maybe turned up a little too bright is that better last week i think it was i was talking to people on instagram on my instagram stories about a tattoo that i want to get on my arm and i was talking about where i should have it exactly and what font people preferred and I asked whether people would be interested in seeing all of my other tattoos because I have quite a few tattoos. I'm not gonna like come here on here and call myself like an inked up girl or anything like that. I don't have a crazy amount, but I have quite a few. Um, and some of them have some really interesting stories behind them. So I asked if anybody would be interested in seeing them and hearing the stories behind them. And quite a few people said yes, like a few hundred people said that they would be interested in seeing it so I thought that I would do that and here we are doing it so I'll put pictures of each tattoo on the screen as I'm talking about them so that you can see them um yeah and so the first tattoo that I ever got um actually the first tattoo that I ever wanted was that one that loads of people had where it was like five stars specifically had to be five five stars along each hip bone and when I was in high school I used to draw this on myself like every single day and then I would top it up each day and I would try to not wash it off so for probably like half my last year of high school I was completely obsessed I was gonna, with getting this tattoo I really really wanted it and I was really convinced that I was actually gonna do it once I turned 18 thank the heavens 16 year olds can not get tattooed because that atrocious it's a tr it, it would have looked atrocious i mean some people pull it off for me really 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 glad that i couldn't get tattooed at 16. one of my friends actually knew a guy who would tattoo people without asking you know the type that i'm talking about um and i almost was kind of tempted but i was absolutely terrified what my grandparents would say if i got caught so um i didn't do it 95% sure my grandma would have killed me. So the first tattoo that I ended up actually getting is on my back and it's like a circle and it has a little tree in it. Um, and I've been dating a girl for like most of my last year in college. And then in the summer before uni, she broke up with me and I was pretty like, I was a mess, I won't lie, I was a mess. Um, and I saw this tattoo online, I saw like a version of it um, and I thought that it was really cool. I thought it was like really symbolic that like this tree was stood alone and the trees are like the symbol of strength and then the circle was like being whole. In hindsight I find it slightly cringy but I, I still like the design so I don't care. Um, and I felt to me like it kind of symbolized like standing alone and being whole and being strong alone without kind of needing anybody else. Um, so yeah, that was kind of my thing that I was like trying to convince myself that I was whole and strong by myself um, at a time where I didn't quite believe that yet. Um, I'm now at a point in my life where I'm like, if somebody's not 
enriching my life in some way and I don't feel like we have kind of a healthy relationship anymore then I'd rather just not have that person in my life but at the time I really couldn't like cope with the idea of losing people so yeah I booked the tattoo I put the deposit down on it and then I met what would become my other half in a wild turn of events um, my friend who had booked a tattoo for the same time decided that he didn't want a tattoo anymore and my partner ended up taking that slot so two or three days after we met we ended up going and getting tattoos together I think it was something like three days after we met and even though they weren't tattoos like for each other or anything like that when they were both of our first tattoos it just kind of seemed a little bit ironic and a little bit of a silly decision um but neither of us regret them so then even though I'd promised myself that I wasn't gonna go and get loads of tattoos really quickly just because I'd kind of taken the plunge on the first one didn't mean that I could get like kind of loads and go crazy um it was about it was about three months later when I got my next tattoo. Okay, this is a kind of sad story as well. I promise they're not all sad, but the first couple were. I was a much sadder person in general then, so maybe it's more indicative of like my mindset at the time or who knows. I'm not gonna talk about it too much because it's quite personal in a way that isn't my story. But essentially what happened was um, at the end of my first year of uni, my friend died. Um, he was really young and it was really heartbreaking for a lot of people. And I really wanted to do something to commemorate him and kind of remember him. Throughout our friendship, a really big kind of running theme was that he didn't like to talk about his feelings. It wasn't something that he enjoyed. So I figured rather than getting something really deep and meaningful that would have made him uncomfortable. We'd always talked about how fun it would be to one day get matching tattoos on the inside of our lips um, and whenever I did try to talk to him about deep or meaningful things he would always just respond with boobs like and that was kind of his way of breaking the ice because it's just so random to be like talking about something quite deep and meaningful and then he would just go boobs um, and it would be funny. Putting all of these pieces together culminated in me getting this tattoo that I'm actually going to show you this one live because... Can you read it or is there glare? Um, I was actually just going through my camera roll looking for pictures that I could insert into this video and it turns out that I had that tattoo done four years ago today exactly, which I didn't even realize was a thing. When I decided I wanted this tattoo, uh, I was a little bit unsure. I wasn't sure whether it was kind of disrespectful to my friend because it was all kind of a big joke and I wasn't sure whether it kind of took the joke a little bit too far. And then my other half actually as Valentine's Day gift booked me in with a tattoo artist. And basically the idea was that if I felt excited when I opened that, and I was really excited to kind of go and do the tattoo to trust my gut that it was a good thing. If I kind of immediately felt like, oh no, I really don't want to do that, then I was always obviously free to get a different tattoo instead. I think that it just meant so much more to me and it just feels so much more personal than some lyrics from a song that he likes or something like that. It was just so personal to our relationship that it, it, in the end, it just felt like it was perfect. It's definitely to this day, my favorite of all of my tattoos. Um, so I know that like a big question with the inner lip tattoos is how long they last. Um, I had mine done the first time on the 15th of February. And then I think by the end of February, I was back in again for it topping up. And then I did it again in about, March, April, about May, April, May-ish that year, I had it topped up again because the tattoo artist said that because they fall out so quickly, the ink falls out of it so quickly, he was willing to top it up twice, I believe he said for free. Um, and I went back both of those times and that's been it. So it's not been topped up in about three and a half years. So then my next tattoo was a 
really really silly one um my friend learned to do stick and pokes she was super excited and i was like that's so dope i want one do me too but then i was like oh i don't actually know what i want so i made a joke to her that she should have a b she should do a b on her foot as in b for becky um and she did it so then I was like, okay, well, the tattoo that you have to do on me then is that I'm going to have a C for Charlie on my foot as well. So my next tattoo was on like the knuckle of my big toe. <laughs> it was a stick and poke of literally just the letter C. <laughs> Actually, all the ink fell out of this in like a few months, pretty much. So it's basically not there at all. <laughs> what can we do? So yeah, that stick and poke was a bit of a letdown. And I actually had another stick and poke the year after. But we'll get to that one when it's that tattoo's turn. And then after that, um, my friend and I, the same friend as the foot tattoo, my friend Charlie, um, we went to Budapest. And we were actually on the plane to Budapest. We were talking about how fun it would be to get matching tattoos in Budapest. And we were like, what could we get? What could we get? And then almost as a joke, we were like, let's just get the date that we went to Budapest. Um, <laughs> as you can see, we were full to the brim with creativity. But we did it. So after we'd been in Budapest three or four days, Charlie's family was there with us for a few days. And then Charlie and I were in Budapest for a few days alone. So like the day after her family left, we went to a tattoo artist. We were like, hey, we want to get tattoos. I think she was like, oh yeah, I don't have any availability this afternoon, but come back then. And we went to that museum while we waited. What is it? Is it like a murder museum or a death museum or something? I just remember there being loads of death. I can't remember what it is. We went to this museum while we waited. I remember that though. Um, and she did some, it, she had some kind of deal on and it was like, I don't know, 40 euros for one tattoo or 50 for two. Um, so we decided to both get the tattoo of the day that we went to Budapest, which matches. I have it on the back of my foot. She has it on her arm. This is the only one that I kind of regret. Not that I regret having a matching with Charlie or the tattoo or anything like that. I just regret the placement of it. I wish it was a little bit smaller and a little bit more delicate. Um, and I just don't love where it is anymore. I, I don't hate it. It's not one that I'm like really embarrassed about or anything like that. So whatever. And then while we were there, I was I, I decided that this deal was too good to not get a sat second tattoo. Um, Charlie got a second tattoo. She got, um, it says like baby, baby, baby on her arm. And it's like a lyric that meant a lot to her. And it was like written in the band members handwriting uh, so that was super cute and it looks really really pretty um and i was debating between tons of tattoos and then whilst we were sat <laughs> this is a well thought out tattoo um whilst we were sat in the waiting room my dad posted on facebook that it was his anniversary to with my technically stepmom although most of the time you hear me talking i just call her my mom so um it was the 12 year anniversary of when they had met i believe or got together i can't remember um and he posted on facebook about that and i was like oh my god that's what i'm gonna do so then i went literally must be about half an hour later charlie went first i think and then i went so however long we were waiting and then she, it took for her to get hers done um, that's however long it took for me deciding to doing it and I got the date in numerals that my dad and Shah met. I thought this was pretty cool because she's been like a really really big influence on my whole life. She's been like one of the most important people in my life for I mean probably 15 years now I don't know three years ago that I got that and then it was 12 years since they'd met. So yeah, about 15 years, we didn't meet her straight away. So maybe 14 and a half, 15, something like that. So yeah, I don't remember exactly which order those two went in. I think I did the ribs first and then the back of my foot. All I remember is that the one on my back of my foot hurt like holy heck. Um, and I was laid playing 
Candy Crush while she did that and she was like holding down my calf with one hand so, because I have a really like twitchy leg that if something hurts on it I'm really twitchy in general actually I think and like when I'm having tattoos and stuff if something hurts I've got a tendency of twitching the same when I get piercings when I had my septum pierced I kicked the guy who was doing it by accident just like as a reflex so she was like holding my leg down so I couldn't kick her and tattooing me with the other hand and then my friend was at the other end of the bed like holding my hand while I played Candy Crush and was like dying for this day to be over. But the ribs on wasn't bad. Um, and the one on my back wasn't too bad. The circle hurt quite a lot, but it was bearable. Um, but I feel like I've heard like things about these being like really, really painful and none of them really bothered me that much. So, don't know. So the next tattoo I got then was in Sri Lanka and I have like just a little, it's like it says girl power, it's on my hip. Um, and this was probably the dumbest of them all. But it's one of the ones that I really love. I feel like I love most of them actually. Like for most of them I'm like, oh I love this one so much, it's one of my favourites. Um, yeah, I don't know. They all make me happy really and they're all ones that I love kind of showing off and telling the story about. Which is kind of how this video came to be. I was in Sri Lanka and... It was a Friday because when I was in Sri Lanka we worked Monday to Friday and then on Friday afternoon we had the afternoons off so we would go back to the house and we would pack our bags for the weekend and we would go away for the weekend and we would come back Sunday night. So on the Friday morning on my way to work um, I saw on Instagram or Pinterest or something like that this tattoo. Um, no, no, no. Oh my god, yeah. I saw on Facebook and somebody had written an article about this tattoo and they were like girls all over the globe are getting this tattoo in like solidarity to celebrate girl power and I was like that's so cool and I said to my friend that I was sharing a room with but I haven't seen a single tattoo parlor since we got to Sri Lanka and if I knew where there, there was a tattoo parlor I would definitely get this tattoo. So in Sri Lanka tattoos are really really frowned upon. We had to cover all of them whenever we were at work because um, we were working in a mental health setting and yet yeah, they had to be covered up either with clothes or plasters as well which I wore a lot of trousers that were just cut off just above the ankle which meant that the tattoo on my foot, the Budapest one, had to be plastered so many times and the plasters would fall off and it was a whole nightmare but the point is tattoos are really frowned upon and I hadn't seen we, we, we'd been in Sri Lanka six or seven weeks by this point I hadn't seen any tattoo parlors um, and I, I said to her like you know I wish that we knew where there was one I'd actually really like to get this it would be really cool to do it and even cooler to do it in Sri Lanka because Sri Lanka was such a big time for me I was there for 12 weeks. Also, it must have been further in because it was only a couple of weeks before I went home. I feel like it was maybe eight or nine weeks in then. And then that that night, we were going to Unawatuna. Um, we spent the weekend there uh, by the beach. And as we were just walking down the street where all the shops are, we just so happened to walk past a tattoo parlor. And we'd been to Unawatuna twice before. And we'd walked down the street twice before and I just never noticed this tattoo parlor. Um, and I said to Karen, wouldn't it be really funny if I just did it then? Like, isn't it weird that I said I would do it if I knew where there was one and then all of a sudden I've noticed this place that I've walked past dozens of times and just not noticed. And she was like, why not? Let's go in. So we went in and we asked and it was something like, I think it was the equivalent of like £3.50 or something. It was crazy cheap and the tattoo parlor looked pretty clean and I was like okay let's do it. Uh, we asked him, very similar to the one in Budapest, he was like I have availability in an hour, come back. So we went out and at this point I was like oh my god like this is crazy, like what am I doing? Um, I got sick a lot in Sri Lanka and Lots of the places that we were going were the most clean and I couldn't find any reviews of this tattoo parlor online and just it seemed clean but 
they didn't want us to come in and check out the room where we would be tattooing before I made the appointment. And there were just a few things that just didn't make it seem like the best decision. So I went outside and I texted my other half, my friend Charlie and my friend Kate. And I was like, guys, should I do this? Am I being crazy? Kate is like my top sensible friend. I mean, I love her to pieces, but she's the one that I can rely on to be like, you're being an idiot. Stop it. Um, Charlie's the more wild friend that is up for a laugh. Um, but still, if you're doing something unsafe, she's probably gonna be like, okay, stop being stupid. And then obviously my other half wouldn't let me do anything dangerous. And all three of them were like, the tattoo is really dope. It's really cool. Um, the place looks clean, go for it. And then I was like, oh, um, right. I was relying on you three to be the sensible ones. And now you're encouraging me to do it. Cool. So I got the tattoo, obviously, or I wouldn't be telling you this whole story. And I didn't get sick. I think I got quite lucky because I think it's a terrible idea to go and get a tattoo in a place where you can't even find any reviews of that place. Especially a period of my life where I was getting sick a lot and I was getting lots of like bugs because the places we were working in um, were places that weren't particularly clean. Yeah, I was kind of catching a lot of bugs through that. Then when I got back from Sri Lanka, um, maybe a month later, my partner had learned to do stick and pokes um, and had done. And I was like, that's so cool. I want you to tattoo me. Um, long story short, I went ahead and got like a little heart on my foot, which I don't even know if I have any pictures of it. I'll try and find some, but that's basically gone and it's just a black smudge on my foot now, which top marks, Bex. And yeah, there's not really much to say about that one. It was, um, I wanted my other half to do something and I just thought that a heart would be quite cute and something that was something that I never really regret. Like, it's just a cute little... Heart. And now um, for my next tattoo, I've actually decided, um, as is kind of a trend with my partner and I, um, I've been talking about a tattoo for ages. It's the one that I mentioned earlier that I was asking for advice on on my Instagram stories. And I've wanted this one for like a year. I'm trying really hard to be more sensible and think through my choices a bit more of tattoos because I'm becoming quite aware that if I keep getting dumb tattoos for the rest of my life, I'm gonna end up covered in dumb tattoos so i'm trying to think them through a little bit more and i've wanted this one for like a year a year and a half now maybe or some version of it um, and i've been talking about it a lot more than usual recently i think because on my birthday i woke up to a appointment card um so my other half has paid for the booking and i'm gonna go and get that done probably sometime this month i haven't had chance to actually speak to her and ask her what slot she has available this month yet um so hopefully i'm gonna be getting that sometime this month if not probably next month so i'm gonna put on again on the screen the different positions and the different fonts that i liked uh let me know in the comments which is your favorite font which is your favorite position because i'm still not totally sure i think i think i know the combination that i want but some people have said online that the font that I want might bleed too much. Um, and I'm really scared that because of the position on my arm that I want it, I don't want it to be something that is going to bleed out too much because then it's going to look really crap in a couple of years. And it's there forever, of course. So a little bit unsure slash nervous on that one and would love you guys' feedback. And if you have any experience getting like thin tattoos like that and whether they stayed very well and things like that um please tell me all the information in the comments or dm me on instagram and yeah i guess that that's this video i hope that you guys liked hearing my silly stories and i hope that nobody has judged me too much because at the end of the day it's all fine games 
Um, I think that life shouldn't be taken so seriously and I think that we should all just enjoy ourselves and be kind to one another. If, if tattoos are not your thing, then please be kind. Don't leave me nasty messages. <laughs> but if you did like the video, then please give it a thumbs up. And I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel as well and hopefully I will see you all next time.